Well, praise the Lord, everyone. My name is Phaedra Carolina, and I'm here today to do your daily devotion. So I wanted to ask a question first to get started. And my question is, has there ever been a time in your life where you thought maybe you'd like to have a do-over, like you'd like to do your life over again because of some things that might have happened that you might have thought you shouldn't have done or things that might have happened to you that you were thinking that were not fair for you to have in your life? Well, I just want to let you know that in 2 Corinthians 5 and 17 reads, Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away, and behold, all things are become new. Now, isn't that just an awesome verse? That's just one of my favorite verses because it tells me that no matter what I've done in my lifetime, whatever happened to me in my lifetime, that in Christ, I'm a new creature. That's almost like getting a do-over in life. Like, who gets to do-over? Who gets to do their life over again? Like, if you think about some of the things and times that weren't really great for you, because of whatever the reason, if you live your life in Christ, Christ remembers that no more. He said that he will cast your sin in a sea of forgetfulness, things that you might not have done correctly. And even we have things in our lives that have happened to us that were unfortunate, that weren't of our choosing. But in Christ, he says, I remember things no more. And for me, that means that I'm not gonna be held hostage by something that someone else knows about me or someone else thought about me or how I was treated. I'm just grateful that I got a chance to do a do-over. That's what we're doing. We're doing a do-over. When you claim Christ as your savior, when you are saved, you get a do-over. And I promise you, that's like the best thing that could ever happen to you. Like you get a second chance in life. Like who gets that? It's not like baking a cake and tasting it and oh, I need to add this, that, and the other. It's like you get a chance to do your entire life over again. You're not held hostage by anyone or anything. So I just like to say that, you know, because Romans 3.23 says that we've all have sinned. So nobody's perfect. Nobody's perfect. I'm not perfect. You're not perfect. But yet we serve a perfect God who forgave us for our sins. The Bible says in John 3.16, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should have eternal life. And that little piece there, that eternal life piece, just really, just really makes me excited because I know that I will live forever with Christ because I had a do-over, that I was had my life changed. And it's important because in the book of Psalms, it reads that, remember not the sins of my youth, nor my transgressions. They are cast in a sea of forgetfulness. And that's just to help us understand that we're not perfect. The Lord already knew that we would have sin in our youth. Um, when Adam came and he sinned, he brought sin into the world. He wasn't even a perfect per person. So you're not perfect, I'm not perfect, but yet we have the opportunity to live a life that's pleasing to God. Because we're new creatures, our old man has been crucified. That means that's gone, that's done, that's done, that's over with. And we shouldn't serve sin anymore. If we claim to be um, part of the kingdom that we're saved, we have salvation in our life, we should not be serving sin. Um, in Hebrews, it says that sins and iniquities, he remembers no more. So because now we're living a night life for Christ, we have, we have a commitment and a covenant with Christ to live according to what he's asking us to do. In our new life, it says that we'll have joy, that our joy will be our strength. We'll have beauty for ashes, things that were bad, no more. We'll have the peace that passes all understanding. And I promise you, that's like the best thing I feel. And like I said in John 3, 16, we will have eternal life. And that means we will live forever with Christ. And that is just the most important thing in my life. Cause you know, a lot of times we live life as a day-to-day -day life. We don't think about what's gonna happen afterwards, but if you're saved, you know that you have eternal life. You're a new creature in Christ. So I'd like to leave with a verse that um, sort of sums up everything, and that's Galatians 2 and 20. And that reads, I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live, yet not I, but Christ that liveth in me. And the life which I now live in the flesh, 
I live by faith of the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. And I thank God that when we're new creatures, we no longer belong to ourselves. We love belong to Christ and we live a life according to what he has for us. So I thank you. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you got a takeaway. And more than anything, I just want you to know that your life can be changed. Your life can be new and all things become new when you're in Christ. May God bless you.